Okay, my next experiment, I want to test out one of these anti-static bags. Now, I have several here. I probably have a dozen different types. This one is not a high-performing bag, but it is fairly translucent, so you can actually see the signal inside the, the bag, which is really kind of neat. Um, most of the others are not, and so you can't actually see them. You have to pull out the spectrum analyzer to see it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll zoom in. Hopefully you can, you can see this. So right now the transmitter is turned off, so we don't have any signal running. Um, so we don't have uh, any signal there at the spectrum analyzer. So let me go ahead and turn it on. And what you see is you can see the signal rise up there. Um, so that's the amount of energy that's actually getting inside the bag. In terms of its particular level, it's about minus 72 dBm. So that's only about 15 dB of shielding affecting us from the open air test, which is, was at minus 57. So that's not very good. Uh, 15 dB is not, certainly not enough to protect against an EMP. So this bag I would classify as a poor Faraday cage. It doesn't provide very good shielding at all. Now, other bags um, provide much better shielding, some of them as much as 50 dB across all frequencies uh, from 100 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz. And I'll, I'll point out a couple of them and talk about which ones I prefer. Okay, so there are various types of anti-static bags out there. There's some like the ones I just tested, um, which I don't recommend. They only provide about 10 or 15 dB of protection. There are also some that do a very, very good job across all frequencies of interest. They might provide 50 dB uh, all the way from 100 kilohertz all the way to 1 gigahertz. So these are great one-stop sort of Faraday cages. You put your items inside, you fold the lip over, tape it up. You can also use an iron if you'd rather to seal the top if it's going to be permanent sealing. Um, but these are really good bags. The ones that I recommend are the dry shield bags. And there's various types of those. There's a dry shield 2000, dry shield 2700, dry shield 3000, and dry shield 3400. Now of all of those, the dry shield 3400 is the very best. Um, and you can find those various places on the web. They're a little more expensive than the 2000 or 3000 series. Um, but the 3400 have given the best shielding effectiveness, uh, so those are the ones I recommend. You can also find them on my website at disasterprepared.com, but if you don't want to get them there, you can look all across the web. You can probably find some elsewhere. So again, the ones I recommend, Dry Shield 3400 bags. If you can't find those, the Dry Shield 3000 or Dry Shield 2000 bags both do a very good job as well. Don't buy the Dry Shield 2700 bags. They're very difficult to seal. All right, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this has been of some help to you.